it's your girl Lindsay and you don't know how we do it over here we slay and save a ball on a budget as you can tell from the title and that little video in the corner we'll be doing a jumbo box braid look so before i go ahead into this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like so you see me grabbing my shine and jam also my Murray's beeswax and the hair that we'll be using today is the model model glance 3x formation pre-stretched 30 inch braid in here as well as the innovational fiber speechra easy kima twin 24 inch pre-stretched braid in here and i used about three packs for this look so let me turn around and let's get into the tutorial okay so because it's a jumbo braided look i'm just going to make my parts much bigger than i normally would starting at the back of my head so i did about four there i'm just making sure i have a neat part so when the part is as neat as neat as i can bother with i'm just going to make about four boxes because honestly guys this was not supposed to be jumbo but let me tell you something i'm tired and i wanted this to be done as quickly as possible so we're starting off with four at the base so we're just going to grab our pre-stretched braid in here and by the way i used about three packs of the braid in here then when i have my hair if you notice i have like in each section the elastic band just loosely holding the hair out of place while i work on that first section and you saw me grab my shine and jam and i'm going to take that and just start working it through my hair this the shine and jam helps to keep my hair from frizzing beneath the braid now this hair is pre-stretched so you basically can just take it out of the pack and push it in your head so i'm just taking the amounts of hair that i want and just measuring to see how big i want it to be so pay attention to this part okay so with that section i put that section in half then i'm going to get the braid in here and put it in between the section again i split the section that i made in half and put the braid in here in between it then i pull my hair over the braid in here and i'm using a rubber band to to, to secure my hair so if you're familiar with the crochet method it's kind of like the crochet method but because this is jumbo your crochet needle can hold so much and no more so i just you know skip using the needle and just put the hair in between myself and then securing it with the rubber band don't worry we're gonna go through it again so when i'm done with that i'm just gonna take my beeswax and make sure everything is as neat and secure as possible and then we're just going to do our regular three strand braid but what we're gonna do is we have our braiding hair we're going to put that in three sections and the part that's in the middle we're going to use our natural hair put it in between that middle strand and do our regular three strand braid all the way until you reach the desired length if you open engaging you on my agenda request my cherry get ya the doors open take that high road and hop in okay so when you reach your desired length i know some people like to wait until they finish their whole head and put our elastic banner screen at the end and cut everything but i couldn't wait so i grabbed my scissors and i just cut it right there because i wanted to be like am i satisfied with this length or not so we're going to repeat the same thing as you can see i already did the first row of my head but as i said i'm gonna run through it with you guys again just to make sure we all have it and we're all on the same page it's the same steps throughout the whole head that we're doing
okay so i start out with my shine and jam and my beeswax i'm more me personally i put the beeswax towards maybe like my ends you know i feel like the beeswax held it down a bit better i'm still i still having this hair and i haven't had any frizzing so i guess the beeswax did a pretty good job um so when i'm done and i just want to make sure i rake that through properly i split that section in half put the hair in between it when i put the hair in between it i put my hair over it and secure it with an elastic band and pull when i pull it just to make it as taut as possible okay so you know anytime you're doing a three strand braid you have it starting with three pieces that middle piece of your braid is what's going to have your natural hair in it and then you're just going to braid as normal there's nothing different so you have your left piece middle piece and your right piece left piece is a braid in here right piece is a braid in here the middle piece is your braiding hair and your natural hair and you just braid down to the length you want as you normally would and then you cut and don't forget before you cut you secure it with an elastic band as well first impression you open we should be close to friends if you open engaging you on my agenda request my chariot get ya the doors open take that hot road and hop in monarch butterflies you should open up i'm trying to put your heart together don't worry my girl run through this with Una again so hopefully you see it better now that we're more so at the front so once again i'm taking my gel and my beeswax and smoothing that through my hair because we don't want any frizzing god that's just going to make us look crazy then i take the section and i just split it in half it doesn't have to be you know perfect just once you have a space for the hair to lie in between so you see me have it there then i take the braid in here and i just light in between those two sections right there and i found that this method works better for me personally because sometimes when i do it the other way the other elastic band method my hair slips so then when i have my hair over it i grab my elastic band and i secure my hair so as you see hopefully you can see it better here like it ends up looking like the crochet method but as i said the crochet needle wouldn't be big enough to hold this hair so this method worked well for me so when i secure it not too tight i just pull it a little bit just to make sure it's taut you know just so it doesn't come loose or anything a lot god why my pull so don't pull it as tight as me then now we're getting on to the braiding part so i'm just getting ready to put my braid into three sections just like when we braid regularly left piece middle piece right piece and my middle piece also has my natural hair and then i just braid down all the way until i'm at the desired length now in terms of the cutting remember to secure each braid with an elastic band before you cut i did make my front pieces a little bit longer than the back because i was going for that kind of bob effect they were the same length but a little longer so what i'm showing you guys here is how i measure my bootleg <laughs> version of how i measure the size of my boxes just so they're you know as equal as possible so i just kind of take my fingers and just put them to the each section of my head just to be like okay well you know just so the you know i don't want one too big and one too small bootleg <laughs> also guys for some pieces of the hair just to stretch it out a bit i did cut some of the 30 inch in half and then use it at the front just to make sure i had enough hair left over okay so now we're finally reaching the front hopefully now i'm going to run through this again make sure you're gonna get it split the hair in half put the braid in here in between overlap it with your hair secure with a rubber band straight to the point it is so simple it's so easy my hair did not slip i pull just to make it taut as possible and then i separate it into the three sections just like i would a regular braid but my natural hair is in that middle braid 
piece of the three and then i'm just going to braid all the way down as i said i really do prefer this method because the other elastic band method my hair it just slipped i still have this hair in and my hair did not slip we should be closer to friends if you open engaging you on my agenda request my chariot get ya the doors open take the hot road and hop in first impression you open we should be closer to friends if you open engaging you on my agenda request my chariot get ya the doors open take the hot road and hop in Minor butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up and smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she said that she the loneliest. And it's hard to open up. Open you up like a ball. Open up. Tear you out for football. Let your emotions walk fall on me. Open up. Open up. Open you up like a ball. Open up. Tear you out for a puff ball. Let your emotions walk fall on me. Open up. Open up. Need to deep breathe hard and complications. So now that we've finished braiding, I'm just going to take my lighter and burn the ends. This is a real old time thing, burning the ends, but to me it helped to form the bob shape. Some people leave it fanned out, you can if you want to. I just didn't really like the fanned out thing with this look. I just really wanted it sealed. And then I'm just going to take my molding wrap to help press it down. And on top of that, it did that. I'm going to um, burn up my finger. So when I'm finished with that, I'm just going to clip up any flyaways that I may have then i'm just going to grab my jamaican black castor oil and oil my dry scalp and after i'm done i'm going to grab my mousse and just put that all over the hair to tame any flyaways i may have missed all right my lovely people we are finished i just put some gold accessories that you can get from your local beauty supply store and just put them randomly all over the hair just if i give it a little a little buzz a little zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. so let me know what you think i did like this length the jumbo it was because it's jumbo the size it was pretty quick to do i did this in about maybe four five six hours mind you i was watching tv and i took some breaks in between but thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications so you can be alerted when I upload a new video. I have more stuff coming for you guys soon. You know, say we have a slay and save over here. Please don't hesitate to let me know what you think. And also leave some suggestions below that you'd want to see me try. Thank you guys once again for watching. And as always, till next time, bye.